makes fresh decision over Simeon Ekpa's terrorism charges, also announces date to commence trial in Finland. Simeon Ekpa, a Finnish citizen of Nigeria, dissent is currently facing legal proceedings in Finland in connection with terrorism related activities. Simeon Ekpa, who claims to be the Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic government in Eza, was arrested in late November 2024 along with four others on charges including incitement to violence and financing terrorism. The Finnish authorities allege that Simeon Ekpa used social media to instigate violence in Nigeria's southeast region, particularly targeting civilians and government officials. As a result of these accusations, he was remanded in custody on suspicious of public incitement to commit crimes with terrorist intent. And so Simeon Ekpa is a controversial figure known for his involvement in advocating for Biafran independence, a sensationist movement in Nigeria. His most notable action include calling for a boycott of Nigeria's 2023 general elections, a move that led to violent enforcement actions, actions and attacks against residents in the Southeast. His cause for a seat at home order every Monday of the beginning of a week, which was enforced by his supporters, thereby resulted in significant disruptions and violence. These activities drew the attention of Nigerian authorities, leading to the summoning of Finland's ambassador, Lena Livania, demanding cooperation in investigating Simeon Ekpa's actions. Additionally, international petitions were raised to pressure both Finnish and Nigerian authorities, along with the European Union, to take decision and decisive action against Simeon Ekpa. The Mikol Likasunen Senior Detectives, Superintendent of Finland, National Bureau of Investigation, confirmed that Simeon Ekpa's case is progressing in Finland. Thereby, the court has set a deadline for May 2025 for prosecutors to present charges against Simeon Ekpa. And so, due to the ongoing investigation, no further information could be disclosed at this time. The timeline 
is significant as it provides clarity on when the case will reach a crucial stage or point. And additionally, both Simeon Ekpa and the finished Finland authorities have the option to request a re-evaluation of the case after two weeks from the last hearing and common procedures in remand situation. The investigation into Simeon Ekpa's activity is far from over with Finland government officials, indicating that international cooperation is involved, giving the case transnational nature. However, specific details of this collaboration remains undisclosed. Why Simeon Ekpas faces charges related to incitement and his role in instigating terrorism. His associates are accused of financing these activities, adding another layer of complexity to the investigation. And so Simeon Ekpas legal troubles in Finland, highlight the growing concern over the role of social media in inciting violence and the complexity of handling international terrorism. The case will likely have significant implications for both the Finnish Finland government and Nigerian authorities, particularly regarding issues of cross-border cooperation in combating terrorism. So guys, how do you see to this matter? The Nigerian government are very consistently following up with this Simon Ekpa's case. Nigerian government will wish Simeon Ekpa being deported back to Nigeria so that Nigeria can handle the case. But it's not possible. So guys, what are your take on this matter? Can you drop your comment on the comment section? And do not forget to like and subscribe to Bliss Channel. Thanks. <music>